um, Austin named starter for the opener here against Austin P. You know, what was that moment like for you, you know, when you found that out? Yeah, it was pretty surreal. You know, Coach Helton and I had a meeting one-on-one, -on -one and he just came in there and kind of just announced that he was going to roll with me game one. That I'd done a great job competing throughout the offseason. It was, it was pretty special. You know, I just wanted a chance to come here and compete, like I told you earlier. Like I, I told Coach Helton that in the transfer process. And, you know, he gave me that opportunity to compete, and I felt, felt like I did a good enough job to win the job. So it, I was, it was really a really special moment. It was a blessing, you know, from – it was really special, you know, for Coach Helton to show that trust in me. You know, since you've been named QB1, does that change how you approach things at all, or is it just business as usual? For you? Um, you know, I try to keep it, you know, the same that I've kind of been going about things. Obviously, things are a little bit different being the guy. And, you know, you know, being the starter the last three years, you know, I was really big into getting to a routine and, you know, how to operate as a starter. So it's kind of nice to be back in that routine, you know, just operating how I used to operate, going through my routine the way I did. So. To be back kind of in that regular schedule, being the guy, being in game prep, that kind of stuff's been nice. You know, looking ahead to Austin P on film, what do you see from those guys and what do you expect to come Saturday? Yeah, you know, they're really talented. Uh, you know, they, they force a lot of turnovers. They fly around. You know, they got a really good team. You know, they got really good secondary. So it's going to be really fun for us. You know, we really can't take these guys lightly whatsoever. They're really talented. They could give us a lot of problems. You know, you turn on the film against Ole Miss last year, and they did good things against Ole Miss. So, you know, we got to really be careful with how we go into this game, prepare just like we would every single game because they're a really talented team. You know, for you personally, what will you consider, you know, a successful debut here? Uh, obviously, Bailey did what he did in his first game here, but, you know, what are you hoping for on Saturday? Yeah, you know, a successful debut for me would be a win. You know, that's simple. I'd love to just get the win, you know, any way we can. Obviously, I'd love to do it in style, let us have a good game, go out there, look clean and solid. But, you know, I'm not really trying to match numbers. I'm not trying to do anything. You know, if I go out there trying to chase Bailey Zappi's stats, I'm going to have – I'm gonna have a hard time doing that, so I'm just gonna try out there, try to go out there and do the job that I've been asked to do, and just lead this offense, and however that goes. But most importantly, getting a win. You know, we talked. I think it might have been the very first day of camp. Um, you know, maybe a couple days in. How have you seen this offense? You know, continue to grow since that point. You know, up to where you're at now. You know, I think we're really versatile. You know, I think we can run the ball really well. You know, besides the fact that everybody knows us as a passing team, I think we have a really good run game. I think that's gonna complement our pass game really well. Obviously, everybody knows what we can do in the air. And the receivers that we have look just as good as last year and like they're going to go out there and do what we expect them to do. And so, you know, I'm really excited just seeing what we've been able to do, both passing the ball but also running the ball. And I feel like, you know, we're really two-dimensional and we're going to be able to kind of go out there and give teams both sides of that. You know, I know when I spoke with you earlier this year, um, you know, you talked about Western having a recipe for success from, you know, quarterbacks or players coming from smaller schools. You know, if you're playing a school that's in the FCS, you know, you came from the D2 ranks. Does that help, you know, maybe not overlook them to know how good the competition is where you know, some programs you know, might or some players might in situations like that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for me, this is only my second ever game against a, a, a Division One opponent. You know, I played McNeese State last year when I was at UWF. Yeah. but. For me, this is only my second ever Division One game, so I have no reason to overlook anyone. You know, I have, I have to take every team seriously, and every single game for me this year is going to be a new challenge and something I've never seen. So there's no games that I can go into and take too light, take lightly. But that goes for our whole team. You know, obviously the, there's the past where Maine came in here and, and Central Arkansas and those games like that. So there's no reason for us to go into any game just expecting to win, and everything has to be done to go out there and do our jobs.